So I had an interesting question of the day from um, a, a student uh, who was doing a rock, paper, scissors game. Um, I've got his comment here. Uh, standard rock, paper, scissors game. There's nothing difficult about it. It's difficult, but it's nothing unusual about it. Um, but this was the bit that um, I took notice of, that he was struggling with data conversions between integers and strings. Because obviously the computer's doing it through a random number and he's entering as a... As a, as a keyboard and I think he's, he's got the wrong idea here really he'd be better off using um, using the number as an array so everything's dealt with as a string so I've mocked up a, a solution that you can use to give an idea that shows that even though you work with an integer you don't need to cast it you can just use that integer to pull something out of an array so I've got my variables here I've got an exit code for the loop created an array three items, rock, paper, scissors as strings, user turn, computer turn, exit code is set as false, so it'll keep looping while exit code is false, and we only break out the exit code until we win. The computer picks a random value between 0 and 2, which is the random three here, and that in turn pulls out something from the array, so if it picks a zero, it'll be rock, paper, or scissors. You went to your turn, if they're both the same, it's got to be a draw, so nothing stops. If they're different, then we call the winner function. The winner function purely checks for user wins. So if the user doesn't win, we can assume the computer's won because it's not a draw. Returns the winner. And then outputs what they were, the winner stops the loop. So let's step through it. Pop this on this side. So we can see the variables being declared. Pop paper scissors. Go through. Computer picked scissors at random. Asks me my turn. I'll choose rock, which should be scissors. Press enter. Step through. Computer took scissors, so I'll choose. There we go. Computer played scissors, you played rock. Uh, wins. So let's run it through again. This time we'll do a draw. Computer paid paper. I'll play paper. Both play paper. Let me get rid of that space in there. Draw. One more time. Let's have a lose. So the computer's played scissors this time. I'll play paper. And there we go. So we'll just look at the code. See if I chance to have a pop look through it. That's the basic code. Uh, there's the winner function. So I hope that helps. Um, it's far easier sometimes to keep data in an array and access it numerically than it is to try and convert um, integers to strings and then um, have to try and convert them back when you're trying to work out uh, doing a comparison against two things. So this is a simple version using an array. I hope that answers your problem. Do you find that useful? Buy me a coffee.